All right, anglers, today we're gonna to be talking about the Panther Martin Spinner. Plus, I've got a hack for you that's gonna hurt a lot of fish's lips. But before we get started, I'd like to say that this is gonna be the first video in the bank fishing series. We are gonna be digging in to specific lures, techniques, and talk about strategies that are highly effective from the bank. We'll be able to walk up to a new body of water, figure out what kind of fish are in said body of water, then deploy tactics to target those specific fish all from the bank. The Panther Martin is first up. Let's talk about what makes this lure work, how to use it, and what kind of fish it targets. And if it's deadly enough to earn a spot in your bank fishing setup, let's go. There are two different ways you can tie this lure to your line, but you always want to be using some kind of swivel. We have snap swivels, which is going to make it easy to change your lure colors, and you just want to tie that to your line with a palmer knot. Also, you have the barrel swivels. These things are going to make it where you can put a leader on your line, which I like to do because I use a braided line, and I'll put a monofilament leader on it. So this is what I'm going to be going with today. These Panther Martins come in all sorts of different colors, literally tons of colors. The design of the Panther Martin is a concave blade that rides on a shaft. Being on the shaft and not on a clasp attached to the shaft, it makes it pretty easy to get the blade started and also puts off a lot of vibration. It has a weighted cone shaped body with a non-replaceable treble hook which I really don't like to be honest. Sometimes this lure can be a bit much for the fish because of how much vibration it puts off. It targets aggressive feeding fish, not timid fish that aren't looking for a meal. There are better lures to search with when the bite is slow. Weeds are very problematic with this lure as they are with any treble hook lure. You can get these with single hooks, which can help by sacrificing the hookup rate. Today, I'm gonna be using this green and black Panther Martin and it has a UV effect to it. I'm gonna be using eight pound monofilament tied to eight pound braid. I'm gonna be using a spin cast reel on a six foot six medium power fast action rod. All right guys, let's talk about how we wanna fish this Panther Martin. It's a fan cast, so we'll just start over in this direction and we'll make a cast and then we'll make another cast right over here. Then we can make another cast here, another cast here. You can divide this area up into five or six sections and then you just want to do those five, six casts and you want to move down the bank a little further same thing over again and just keep working your way down the bank this is a lure you just want to cover water with because this lure targets aggressive fish and feeding fish all right let's talk about how to retrieve this lure first obviously you're just gonna cast it out as far as you can let it sink and then give it a quick jerk and i'll get the blade started real easy you'll be able to feel when that blade starts spinning you'll feel the vibration in your pole you'll feel the vibration on your hands your pole will also get some tension to it and it'll have a slight bend in it and that's that blade causing resistance and then once you get the blade started you can slow down your retrieve you can go just fast enough to keep that blade spinning or you can go faster you can cruise this thing through the water pretty fast and the fish will still bite it guys it's time for my hack gulp alive i like the waxies is what they're called because they're small. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three of those and tip each treble with them. It'll add scent and flavor to the lure. It's just gonna make it so much more irresistible to all sorts of fish. I've got each one of these trebles tipped with one of those gulp bait waxies. And I'm gonna show you right now that it catch fish in this video because I see a lot of YouTubers, they tell you how to fish and then they try to show you how to fish and they don't catch any fish. And it's like, man, does that thing even catch fish? So we're gonna show you that this catches fish. 
I will say this lure hunts fish and there is no species that will not hit it. I've caught largemouth, smallmouth, white bass, channel cat, perch, trout, bluegill, rock bass, walleye, saw guy. If you name it, this will make it come out of the depths of the water and hit it. It's not the most effective at targeting specific fish because of how it works, but you get on the bank, start throwing this thing around how I've shown you and it will land you fish and you'll be able to find where the fish are. Then and use that information to move to a different tactic. This definitely should have a spot in your tackle box. I'd pick up a couple different colors for different stained waters and different overhead conditions. And when you're having trouble finding fish, put this on your pole and start covering water because the Panther Martin is easy to fish and can be very deadly. Until next time, stay fishy friends.